Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to the Calamity Mod. So welcome to day 23 of our death mode let's play. And in today's episode, well, we're going to try and take down a couple more bosses. So we actually have two bosses I'd like to try today. One is the Stormweaver, I believe that's what it's called. Basically the big giant worm from yesterday. I really want to try and take that down, that's like an absolute must. And then the second thing I want to work on is actually getting good because this next boss is probably going to be one of like the steepest learning curves for us because it's Cygnus. Cygnus is a pretty devastating hell boss. Uh, it's really fast. I think that's where the majority of the challenge comes from. So without further ado, let's actually get started on Stormweaver. We actually got some comments yesterday. I got a lot of comments, a lot of help from ones from you guys, but it was either people recommending Leviathan's method or Leviathan recommending his own method. So we're going to try out Leviathan's method, and I'm quite excited for this. So apparently it's a box in the sky. So I looked up how to do it. I've made my box. I don't know if it works, obviously. Uh, so let's go inside. All right, let's swap over Leviathan, or the Siren's Heart. Let's swap it over for Drayden's Heart, which is going to give me a 10% increased damage buff. And buff up. So we'll see what happens here. And begin. So apparently what's going to happen is, because I'm in this block, in this little area, it's not going to pierce. So we're going to find out if that's true. Okay, so already the big challenge is beating these little minions. But then apparently because it just flies above, you can just shoot the tail. For those wondering, by the way, I am actually zoomed out. I get that comment every day. Every day I get the same comment that says, James, zoom out. I'm like, I am. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, building up mana is a little bit annoying with this. So what I've been doing for the, uh, the entire series is actually basically just using the mana regen rather than using mana potions. I personally don't like the, uh, the, the debuff that you get from mana potions, so... I don't necessarily like to use them all that much, so that's why I, you don't see me using them. Oh man, <laughs> this is... The funny thing is, this is actually going really well, in a way, because I'm not actually taking any damage. I'm just getting absolutely, like, distracted by these guys. Okay, oh, do you know what I could do with? I could do with a, uh, a weapon to actually just slay these guys rather than the Genesis, because the Genesis is looking pretty slow right now. Oh my god, this is going to take forever. I guess that's what you uh you pay for when you uh when you try and do an easy method, I guess. All right, this makes me really want to use rage. So I'm going to use it. Okay, go on. Get some good damage in. Go on, hit the tail. <laughs> this is such a lazy man's way of doing it. It really is. But you actually avoid all these uh these little lightning attacks, which is pretty cool. All these ones, and then the ones that do the most damage. This feels this feels pretty cheesy, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> for my setup at least. Like I understood why Leviathan did this for his uh for his no hit. I feel I feel guilty using this. Okay. Uh I'll use it a little bit more and then we'll we'll pop out. And we'll uh we'll leave. I'll probably end up dying as I leave though. I'll probably make a fool of myself. Okay, uh, I'm going to swap those over now. Come on. Here we go. God, it's taking forever. Right, out we come. Out the box we go. Uh, oh no, I used my... Ah, I used my adrenaline and then, uh, and then messed it up. Right, back in the box, guys. Back in the box. <laughs> right, the box is still, still doing well. <laughs> this, is, this is brilliant. Uh, come on. There we go. Right. Oh, God, this takes forever in a day. It takes absolutely forever. Right, let's swap these over because I want my rage without getting uh, dealt damage. Oh, my God. I, I would like another adrenaline. That'd be nice. That'd be good. Just another adrenaline. Right, I'm going to speed this up, guys, because this is taking forever. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be a while, so we'll just speed this up. Okay, so here we are. I've actually managed to uh, to beat that part of the fight. I believe this is the second part. Oh, snap. Oh, wow. Oh, he's actually really strong when he gets out. I didn't realize that. All right, maybe that's something we'll uh, we'll learn for uh, part two. I'm going to redo it, and we'll, uh, we'll jump to that. 
All right, maybe this is it. If you haven't been able to tell, uh, I've actually not been taking these very seriously, these little mini bosses. Just trying to use it as a little bit of a break, really. Do you know from all the intense fights that's going to happen, these are mini bosses at the end of the day. I mean, if we can beat this in a box, it's a mini boss. <laughs> all right. Oh, man. It's ironic, though, that I'm getting beat by mini bosses. But, like I say, it's because I'm, I'm genuinely not taking it serious. Okay. Here we go. There we go. Sick. <laughs> Box method always works. All right, cool. Nice one. We got some armored shells. The storm. Oh, snap. Okay. Now, I wonder what kind of DPS you could do. Wow, look at that for DPS. That's what we did when we killed it. 176,000 DPS. That's pretty crazy. Right, let's, let's do this. That's pretty cool. I like that. I might actually use this in my next fight just for a little bit of fun. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to put this away. And then I'm going to look up. There was a uh, there was actually a drop that we got from... I can't remember what, what, what it was called. The, the Storm Ceaseless Void or something. I think it might have been this. It looked like this, but it wasn't this. Or was it called Phanto? Chasm something. I can't remember what it was called. What was it called? Apparently it drops like a little bit of a crafting recipe. Something for a crafting recipe. It's really good. I never checked it out. Oh man. I don't know if I'm going to find it because I can't remember what it was called. It looked like this though. Or maybe it didn't. I have no idea. Oh man. There is thousands and thousands and thousands of items here. Like it just shows you how much I've done in this series so far by actually scrolling through this list. How many potions not needed? It's crazy, right? I think I think I'm getting close to it. Let's see. Alright, it wasn't any of these. They don't look too familiar. Um I don't know if I can find it. Oh there, that's it. Is it dark plasma? That looks right. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that. Dark plasma, what do you make? Okay. You do make weapons, alright. You make the cosmic worm. Oh, okay. Oh, so that makes a lot of sense. Ah, right, okay, I got it. But you do make weapons. You make the Phantasm Fury. Cool. The Molecular Manipulator and the Missile Storm. I want to see what the Missile Storm's like. I don't know if I have these, that's my only problem. I don't think I have a Razor Pine or a Leaf Blower. Let's see, Leaf Blower. Nope. Uh, razor pot no. Alright, so maybe that's not the weapon for us today. So let's actually check out what this makes then. So this is the armored shell. It makes the sea dragon. Oh, wow. And the shadow bolt staff. I don't have a shadow beam staff either. Wow. That does look cool. It does look cool. Right. Let's forget about that for now. Let's put it away. So let's have a little look at this next boss. This is gonna be really hard, like for real, this is gonna be like a big challenge for me because I'm gonna have to learn movement. Superior, I'll take superior, sure. Right, yeah, learning the movement's gonna be super hard. So I'm gonna put on ranger over summoner, sorcerer. And then I'm also gonna do siren's heart over that. And that looks good. Maybe I'll also take the amulet and I'll replace that with Ooh, so that's 15% increased damage. And what does this do again? Taking damage makes you move very fast, increases armor penetration by 25 and immune time after being struck, provides light and causes stars to fall when you... Ooh, oh, I don't know. I feel like that... <laughs> that was a dumb, that was a dumb little setup. Yeah, I feel like that's the setup. Let's go with that. Cool. Feeling confident. Feeling confident. Right, I do need to go and grab something, actually. I need a, uh, a ranger's combination. So, I just need to see this dude real quick. Porky is his name. Ranger combination. So, I'm going to show you guys this fight, and then what I'll do is I'll actually cut together if I win or not, because this fight is intense. I have seen it, and I'm worried about it. <laughs> I truly am. We have heart attack right now, but it doesn't look like our rage is full. Yeah, that's weird. 
Maybe we should... Oh, God. I almost... Literally, if I had not done that that second, we'd have died of fall damage. Okay. All right. Let me show you guys. It's not great. Oh, I didn't even mean to spawn it in then. Okay. Oh, all right. Oh, I'm pretty happy with the DPS we've got. I mean, look at that speed. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is crazy, right? It's crazy. So, I'm going to do uh, some silent fights. And I'll let you know if I win. I don't know how well I'm going to do this, honestly, because this seems really hard. But uh, I'll let you know if I win. Oh, my God. Did it not despawn? Are you kidding me? The cosmic lamp. Isn't that a... Uh... I swear that's a summon. Oh, my God. Right. Time to time to fight it. All right, so I actually just finished farming. I actually went and got the leaf blower, and I also got the razor pine. So I've been trying that fight out a couple of times. It's pretty hard. I'm yeah, I'm not getting anywhere close. Uh, so I thought I would make this weapon because it kind of seems right. So I've been getting pretty far using my bow and actually just using it to destroy all the summons and stuff. But the only problem is, is it hasn't got long enough range. If you also want to try and run away from the boss, a good a good amount. Uh, and it's the same with the Purge Guzzler as well. So I'm hoping that with a Razor Pine, because obviously the Razor Pine is really strong, I thought, well, maybe this uh, Missile Storm might help me out. So let's see. Missile Storm. Okay, let's put it inside. Uh, I hope I've got Eula Bloom. I think I do. Missile Storm. There we go. Bam. Okay, let's see what it's like. It might be good, it might be bad. Okay, it's pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, I love that. I love that. I'm a big fan of the Rage Pine, so any excuse really to use a bit more of it. I'm excited for that. Range is not too bad as well, so we'll give it a go. Uh, reforge it as well. Let's get something good on it. Deadly. Ooh. I'll take Deadly. That's not a bad reforge, to be honest. Let's have a little look. Oh, hell yeah. That's nice. Let's see if we went inside and activated our crits and stuff. What could we get that up to? Oh, that's nice. Right, I'm going to go and uh, keep fighting it. I'm not bored of fighting it yet. I'm still pretty uh, pretty positive about it. So, I'll see you guys with a winning kill. Hopefully, soon. Alright, so I've been fighting this boss for a little while now. And I thought I would give you guys a few different reasons why I don't like this boss. Now, this is usually a pretty good way for me to kind of vent my frustration. And I guess it also makes you appreciate just what this boss is all about. So, if I was to spawn it in, so I'm not going to activate this because that makes me too slow. So, if I was to spawn this in right now, let's have a little look at it. So, let's see its attacks. First off, it spawns near you, which is fine. And it's all good, right? And then it starts to do that attack. But then watch this, guys. If I was to step away, look how fast this is. Now, you're running away and look what happens. Summons actually spawn behind you. Like, what is that about? I'm going to show that again. So, as you can see, I'm running away, I'm running away. Alright, I'm going to go back this way, just to get away from it. And look, oh look! Oh look, they spawned behind me! Out of nowhere! Like, it doesn't make any sense! <laughs> like, I kind of get that that's the way it's meant to be, but... I don't know, this boss just seems really annoying from an actual, like, design standpoint. Like, it, it seems like it's there to frustrate you, if that makes sense. It's way too fast. That's the first thing. It's too fast. Those attacks are too frequent. And the absolute annoyingness of it spawning behind you. Like, summons that actually kill you spawning behind you. Like, if I was down here or weaving up like that, it would still spawn in front of me. It just so happened that I was actually looking this way. <laughs> it's, um, it's, it's, it's annoying. Right, I'm going to carry on fighting you though, guys. And uh, I'll let you know if I win. If I don't, I'm going to move on to Poltergast. Because this is uh, already annoying me. Yeah, right. So after uh, these guys have ripped through my NPCs for the 10th uh, time, I'm done with that fight. That fight can, uh, yeah. That can take a little break for now. I'm really not that bothered about it, to be honest, though, guys. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'm not having fun with it. And I think that's the uh, that's the main thing here. Like, I'm really not having fun with that. I know, of course, it's death mode. And I like a challenge, I really, really do. But that one just seems really annoying. And I got pretty good at it as well. I managed to get it down quite a lot. Um, but it was only ever by fluke, for real. Like, it was only ever when, like, my dashes would dash correctly so that I got uh, immunity or whatever. It was never any uh, true skill that managed to uh, 
to get me through that. So, yeah, I'm all right for that for now, and I think I'm okay with that. So, Poltergast next. Uh, so, Poltergast is summoned, if I remember correctly, by killing a certain number of enemies, a certain number of type of enemies in the... Uh, in the dungeon. Maybe it's like a certain type as in like that gives you enough phantoplasm or something. Maybe you have to pick up like 20 pieces of phantoplasm. Something like that. I'm not exactly sure but we're gonna see. So I'm gonna buff up. I'm also gonna use my lifestone and uh, my Draydon's heart here. And then I might also hug some spikes. Yeah I'm gonna hug some spikes. Just so I can uh, actually build up a little bit more a uh, rage, rather. So we'll do that now. Okay, so it's going pretty well. Oh, I should probably put my uh, my armor back on in a second. Okay. All right. So that's a piece of phantoplasm. Okay, let's heal up. Let's move these back over again. Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. Right. So once we're all healed up, I believe what we do next is we actually uh. Whoa, we actually start slaying enemies. Sorry, I feel so fast. Okay, activate N, and there we go. Alright, put these over. Let's get all healed up. Let's get all ready. And then we'll do this. Okay, we actually have the heart attack buff as well, which is nice. Okay, get fully healed up. And then we shall begin. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap these back over and I'm going to take off Zen. So I'm going to use my uh, <laughs> my advantage to my advantage and we'll see what happens here. Okay, so I really don't know what it is. I don't know if it's picking up a certain number of phantoplasm or anything like that, but we'll soon see. Okay, the good thing is, because it's so low down, we're actually not getting hit all that much. Okay. There is one thing I really want to do, and it's turn on auto-pause. Maybe move around a little bit more as well. Okay. We might be close, we might not be, I really just don't know. <laughs> oh god, there are so many things down there. I'm worried about losing all of my health before I've even spawned it in because of how uh, how dangerous this is to do. Oh god. Oh no. Yeah, this is rough. This is really rough. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to die before I begin. I really do. Alright, time to turn off there because it's getting a bit too much. Okay, keep killing. Oh, okay. There we go. And, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, I did that like an idiot. <laughs> right, I'm going to go back to the same thing and we'll get started on that properly. <laughs> that was pretty brilliant for a first attempt. Alright, so what we're doing this time is we're actually just going to spawn it in. It's a lot easier that way. So, my goal for the fight is to learn how to build up adrenaline in this fight. Like, learning how to uh, actually dodge some of the projectiles and stuff. And then using that adrenaline, I want to combine it with my rage and just deal a massive amount of damage. And hopefully that will get me through the majority of the fight. Now, just got to be careful because obviously, oh man, oh man. Okay, I just realized it's super dark in here. Okay, so just got to be relaxed. Got to dodge some of these bullets. Oh, oh, they arc. Oh, I get it. They bounce a little bit as well. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't realize that when I uh, when I first attempted it. They actually bounce a little bit. Oh, okay. They're getting faster, it seems. Right, I've almost got my rage. Oh, I literally just missed the moron hook there. Okay. Let's use rage and adrenaline at the same time. Let's see what kind of damage that does to our necro ghost. So, is that called the necro ghost because it's going to spawn the poltergeist or not? Right, that was that was a good second attempt. Let's do it one more time.
All right, I'm gonna have to call it a day there, guys. I've actually been recording now for two hours and a half. I spent so long at the beginning of the episode trying to perfect that hell fight. Well, I didn't realize just how much it was gonna drain me. So, Poltercast, not too bad. I actually quite enjoyed the fight. I know I haven't won yet, but I really feel like I'm just gonna get it on the next try anyway. I was, I was pretty happy with my fight. The reason why that fight messed up in particular was actually because I didn't have my mage combination on me, so I didn't have any mana, and I was going to use this to win the fight. So as you can see in the clip, it didn't really go that well. Right, well anyway guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>